A big weekend low is on the way for New Zealand. Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. Well, the windy southeasters continue to blow across some parts of New Zealand, but the stormy low has started to move a little bit further out to sea. It's just doing that briefly, it's going to deepen a little bit further tomorrow and actually uh, strengthen those winds again in some areas. It's still a bit blustery here and there in exposed areas. Auckland City is another one of those areas, although the sun has come out uh, after a very cloudy four or five past few days. And the big area of high pressure remains over the South Island, but this weekend we do have another game changer on the way, and it is quite a significant system. So we've got two different significant systems to talk about. One is that low up to the northeast of New Zealand, and the second one is the bigger low coming in for this weekend. Kicking off though with today, Tuesday, significant wave heights. We're still seeing these big, big waves coming through, but as we thought, they've just eased back a little bit today on where they've been, especially around the uh, eastern side of Coromandel. They're still quite large in the north. You could still be getting some waves up to four metres, but that's down a metre or so from the last couple of days. But we do expect those larger swells to come back. And now we're also seeing some big swells and waves pushing into those eastern beaches from Mahia Peninsula northwards, but even down into some, in, uh, some southern parts of Hawke's Bay. Temperatures tonight, well, below average because of that big high over the South Island. Frosty weather is on the way. You can see the below zero temperature map at weatherwatch.co.nz and the New Zealand frost forecaster at ruralweather.co.nz if you need to just double check. Um, as you can see, though, the eastern side of the North Island you smack bang on average for this time of the year, thanks to those winds blowing through. So this is the setup for Wednesday. That stormy uh, system deepens further, 985. It's still far enough offshore, though, to keep most of the worst winds away from New Zealand, but you will still get those breezy southeasters. So the wind direction doesn't really change, but the strength does start to drop down. It's still pretty blustery though around East Cape, and you've got a few showers there. But as that low deepens, the swells will start to generate uh, again. It's a little bit of one step forwards, one step backwards, because the low itself is moving away, but at the same time it's deepening, and that sort of keeps the swells or the waves around about where they've been for the last few days. As we go to Thursday, you can sort of see a better picture there. The low has deepened and it's drifted a little bit closer to New Zealand. So at the same time, the winds have kind of stopped around Auckland after a windy five, six days. But around East Cape, they might actually be picking up and the swells may also be increasing as we go through Thursday because of that setup. Now we get to Friday, the low moves further to the east. The winds start to really ease across the North Island. There could be some extra rain just pushing back into the very coastal fringes. And then here's the next system. So that will be bringing westerlies in after a week of southeasters at the top of the country. And in the South Island, after a week of high pressure, now you've got rain returning to the west coast. Here's the big southerly. Let's take a look at the weekend uh, because there is a fair bit of rain coming through. This is the good news. This is the three day rainfall, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, coming in. Some of these rainfall totals over here along uh, around Canterbury are pushing up around 70, 80, maybe even 90 millimetres in some isolated spots. Now with the big low coming in, this isn't 100% locked in, but it's good to see finally the sort of dry eastern side of the South Island, including Otago and dry parts of Southland, all getting a chance of rain. Uh, uh, Hawke's Bay area, not quite as much, but still maybe another 15 or so millimetres coming in. Remember, this is this weekend. You might have a little bit more between now and then as well. Snow is also coming in this week. Weekend. The same three days from Friday to Monday, uh, or I should really say uh, 6 o'clock Friday to 6 o'clock Monday. And the snowfall accumulations up here in the Southern Alps could be getting up to 20 to 40 centimetres and even lower down in the Canterbury Plains. We might see a few snow flurries coming in this weekend and some around the Central Plateau. So here is Saturday. This is the big low that's forming. It's roughly the size of Australia. I mean, it's a pretty big system. A lot of southerlies coming through. So Sydney, Brisbane, the Gold Coast, they're going to be getting, you know, wintry weather coming through with this system. For New Zealand, fairly mild at first on Saturday, but there's that rain coming into the South Island with that wet easterly. And by Sunday, that wet east to southeast wind, which will be a cold one, wintry weather, will be pushing into the South Island while the North Island's got westerlies. That's why Hawke's Bay won't be getting the rain. It's all going around clockwise like that. But that is a very big south to southeasterly wind to Sydney, to New South Wales, uh, up to Queensland as well. So Aussie's getting it, New Zealand's getting it, 
wintry weather starting to kick in this weekend. That is all from me. For more details, please go to weatherwatch.co.nz and ruralweather.co.nz.